Okay, so I have discovered what I believe is another pretty big discovery. Um, it's I think it's something that we've kind of known. It may not necessarily even be too new of, of a discovery, but I think it's an explanation that hasn't really been um, noticed very much and what I noticed this is what I noticed what I started to think about and realize is like okay if God knows everything then that would mean regardless of an item um, the scale of it doesn't matter that's what was perplexing me for a while so I kept thinking about it thinking about it thinking about it so here's why the scale of something doesn't matter so let's just say for example like this lighter so when he knows everything when he designs this remember because he has to visualize it design it imagine it process it compute it okay compile it so when he compiles this design this design is relative to this design itself not necessarily even scale the scale of this particular design doesn't matter in a the reality in which we exist in because it's the only way reality can be um, how everything can be infinitely big and infinitely small which means it can always be bigger or always be smaller so it doesn't matter nothing the and this is where i was starting to realize okay well there's got to be more dots that you have to connect so here's what this means so when you're looking at this lighter that's just one thing one design one item so even though we perceive it and look at it oh it's uh real small you know about the size of one finger we exist in a reality where we could perceive it however we wanted to perceive it so we could we could look at this and say oh this lighter represents the scale of let's say 100 galaxies when you line it up next to whatever so whether the size of it is one finger or 100 trillion galaxies never matters it never matters the only thing that ever matters relative to the size of a scale is why, why is it that size? What serves that purpose? So now we understand, you know, this lighter, there's nothing stopping this lighter from existing somewhere in the galaxy, uh, you know, 100 billion galaxies times this size. And it's because it's still the same design and the only thing that's relative is the scale of the <laughs> I know it's a little perplexing but I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of an example of how it works so now we understand that the scale of something can always be bigger or always be smaller so now that we know it can be always bigger or always be smaller the only thing we need to look at is what is known of and what is the purpose. So if it's not known of and if there isn't a purpose, then you're, you basically could potentially imagine something that's always useless. But the same goes for the, both ways. You can always imagine something that's always useful. But when you cross the line, when you're out of scale, like when you're trying to put the scale of something, you know, that's only the size of a finger up to the size of the scale of a sun, you know, you can't do that because it's against nature. Things are not like that. So what that means is, okay, here's what that means. So let's say that this is our sun right here. So, and then let's say that that's Earth. Okay, so what that means is this. The size of the sun 
to us it's gigantic because it's relative the only thing that matters based on the size of something or scale of something is when you are actually perceiving it or if you can perceive it so it doesn't even matter if you are not perceiving it or if you cannot perceive it so here's circumstances that occur when something cannot be perceived all right something that cannot perceived is something that you cannot look at if you cannot look at it if you cannot know what you are looking at that is unconceivable unperceivable so the only thing that matters is what you're looking at or what we know is there if as soon as you reach a point where you don't know that something's there it, now it doesn't matter so it, that goes both ways with God so as soon as you reach that point where you don't know that he does or doesn't exist now you got a big problem so you you're always gonna reach that point where you're gonna you know where you don't know if God doesn't exist when someone wants to jump because that's what this is all about God is making a big joke out of everyone who thinks that they can prove that he doesn't exist how can anyone possibly prove that he does not exist when he actually exists that's why he's sitting there laughing at everybody it's like okay this has got to be the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life you, you people are trying to prove that I do not exist and yet I'm right here and I exist and how do you know, how do you think he knows that he exists when he knows that he exists? So that's always, so that's what the problem is. It's only relative to what's being perceived and what you're looking at. So when you're looking at the sun and someone asks, well, why is the sun so big? Because it has that purpose. It serves that purpose. It has to be that big okay if it wasn't that big nothing nothing's gonna matter so it is relative and it needs to be that size so when we're looking at everything everything is like that it needs to be that size okay but now what you're taking for granted is that everything and anything doesn't have to be any size at all it can be any size so that sun, there's nothing stopping this sun from being a hundred quadrillion bazillion times smaller than that or a hundred quadrillion bazillion times bigger than that. So what's phenomenal about this is in actuality, when you look at everything that exists that we know of, everything in correlation is relative to the same size and the reason everything is relative to the same size is because when you relate and correlate a scale of an a object you always correlate the scale of that object to the perimeter to the area so when you always have unlimited area everything's always equal everything's always the same size because this earth has infinite amounts of space around it so now that that earth has infinite amounts of space around it all you gotta do all that happens if you just zoom out more and more and more everything becomes more relative to the size that it actually is so when you're looking at it too closely you're not even looking at the size of something the way that it actually is okay you're only looking at something the way that it actually is when you reach the point when you're zoomed out and everything looks like one tiny dot and you don't see anything else around it because there's infinite scale so it doesn't matter how big or small anything is it's just relative to its its purpose or use of what it has to do or what is it going to do which is a little bit perplexing and a little bit of a phenomenon so um when i know it can be a little bit overwhelming when we look out into the universe so let's say that we look out into the universe and we see a sun like let's say out in the universe somewhere that size but 
remember, nothing ever matters about how big or how small something is when you perceive it. Because the only thing that's ever mattering is, is why are you looking at what you're looking at? Why are you seeing a star that big? You know, and what is it? What is it doing? What is its purpose? So, when we think that oh, this star's too big, that's because we are used to something being at this scale. But the reality is, is it doesn't matter. Okay, so this could be as big as it ever needs to be or doesn't need to be it's always going to be the same thing so what that means is this is still relative in scale to you know not being too big you know you may look at it you may think oh that's too big how is it that big it can't be that big well it's there it's not too big and it can't be too big and it's never it's never going to be too big because it's something that that is not too big because all that happens when you just zoom out zoom out zoom out more everything turns into one tiny dot all right nothing actually if you zoom out infinitely you're always going to just reach a point of nothing because there's always infinite space that's what it means to have infinite space is you can always zoom out infinitely that's what it means when you can zoom out infinitely is you're going to reach a point where you just see one tiny dot. And that's what everything is. Everything exists inside one tiny dot. And then all you do is zoom in. So that's zoomed all the way out. Then when you zoom in, you're seeing everything else. So you can always zoom in and keep looking at more, looking at more, looking at more. Because it's relative to where are you and what are you looking at and what are you perceiving. So... Since we're inside and we're looking at this, we're looking at the sun, we're looking at the universe, and we're perceiving the sun, we're perceiving the universe, we're seeing that's where we are, okay? Because everything is in a location, in a, in a specific spot inside the ultimate scale, because ultimately everything is nothing. Everything is ultimately nothing, because that's what it means for everything to be ninety nine point nine 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 percent nothing. Ultimately, everything is nothing. Okay, so it's it's fucking crazy. It's 